Falcon. Yo guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Romy and I make videos about living a kinder, simpler, more confident lifestyle. So if you're into that, you can hit that subscribe button, click on the bell, and also, you can follow me on Instagram. I just created an Instagram account for this YouTube channel and I'm gonna try to be posting every day, which is something that I've never ever done before. I've never really been active on my personal Instagram account. So this is gonna be a big change. I really wanna post frequently for you guys and connect with you. So make sure to follow my account, Tea with Romy, if you wanna support me. Don't hesitate to shoot me any questions you have. Okay, as the title says, this video is about the zero waste products that I currently use. They're products that I use on a regular basis. If you're a beginner, these are really great products to have. I really hope that this video is helpful and yeah, stay tuned! So I'm sure you all know plastic bags are extremely unsustainable and they have to be eliminated. The best solution is just to get your own reusable bag. I got mine from Lufa Farms, but there are a lot of different kinds out there. You can find it at your local grocery store or you can even order them online. Mine is a little bit hard to fold, but yeah, if you don't yet have one, well, you know what to do. <laughs> okay, so next product is this reusable razor. Apologies if the sound is really really bad, it's just that I can't turn off the ventilation. Whoa, it works really well. When you buy this razor, it comes with a few blades and also when the blades can no longer be used, you can just slide them back into their little packaging. This way they can be easily and safely thrown away. This razor is not completely zero waste. It is much more sustainable than conventional plastic razors because the handle can be used many, many times. So that means that this one single razor can last you for so, so long. Also how this works, this part here, you can turn it. And by turning it, you open the top. Right here is the blade and that's what you have to change. It's definitely worth investing in if you want to become more sustainable and save money in the long run. The next important item is this bamboo toothbrush. Now this is really a must-have in your toiletry bag because bamboo is biodegradable and plastic is obviously not. But I find that bamboo toothbrushes, because they're of higher quality, they tend to last longer. Like honestly, I remember having to change my plastic toothbrushes every, like, every month before, but these last so much longer. So even though they're a bit pricier, in the end, it's not more expensive. It might even save you money because you're able to use them for a longer time. And also don't forget that whenever you're gonna throw your toothbrush away, it's important to remove the bristles because they're not biodegradable so you can use some pliers to pull them out and then you can throw the bamboo handle in your compost bin for all the ladies out there i swear the menstrual cup will change your life it took me a while to learn how to use it i'm not gonna sugarcoat it but it's definitely worth all the efforts because once you get the hang of it Oh my god, it's fucking amazing. I still get a few leaks sometimes, so I like to use reusable pads as well. They're super easy to wash, and I like that you don't see any of the blood stain. And I store everything in this little pouch, which I carry everywhere. And I've actually had this pouch ever since I was 12. Damn, I can't believe I still have that. Okay, so the next product is actually one of my favorite. Out of all the products that I'm mentioning in this video, this one is amazing. So it is castile soap. So this is Dr. Bronner's pure castile soap. And this one is with lavender essential oil. You can use it for literally everything. So it says 18 in one on the label. I don't know if that means that you can use it for 18 purposes, but I basically use this to wash my entire body, including my face, my hands. You can use it to mop your floor, to do your laundry, to wash your dishes. And I usually store this somewhere in my apartment, but I use this container for daily use. Okay, the next item Item is a must-have I think uh, especially if you're a woman it's reusable cotton pads I got these cotton pads from Amazon this is the bag of like those that were used and they're gonna go in the washer and these are the clean cotton pads and they're just so convenient and really really soft so it's really nice when you rub them on your skin and yeah this is where I'm hanging them this way it's really easy to reach oh by the way the brand is Hyorzi, Hyor, okay, whatever. For those of you that wax, I recommend buying this. So these are reusable waxing strips. These actually only work with sugar wax. So there's only two sizes. These are the small ones, and these are the longer ones for like your legs or wherever you want to use them. 
They're super easy to use and they dry really quickly so honestly I highly recommend using it and these are also reusable. What's actually funny when you're washing those strips is that you're actually confronted with all the hair that you just removed. Personally for me it's super satisfying because I personally don't like hair but that is my opinion so when I see that I endured the pain and now all the hair which was on my body is on those strips and it's being washed away it is so satisfying. Also something I forgot to mention with these strips I'm sure you can easily find those waxing strips without the wax but in my case this came with sugar wax that I bought which I will actually show you guys I don't know why I didn't do that dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So here's the sugar wax that I ordered on Amazon as well and it came with those waxing strips. To be honest, I don't really use it that much because it just hurts like a bitch. But I mean, if you're someone that can handle the pain of waxing, highly recommend sugar wax with those reusable strips. Obviously, water bottle. Plastic bottles are just so inefficient and damaging to the environment. Before, I used to buy bottled waters every single day. And that ends up becoming a lot, a lot of waste. And I completely understand that in some countries you have no choice because there is no drinking water. And I know this firsthand because I grew up living in Shanghai. And in Shanghai, you just can't drink tap water. Like, my mom would always buy a huge amount of plastic bottled water. I honestly don't know how, you know, people who are trying to be more sustainable in Shanghai do it. And I Actually, if you know anything about that, please let me know in the comments because I'd really love to know. So if you live in a place where you can easily access water, then I highly, highly recommend you get one of those bottles. But this is the um, water bottle that I mostly use. I am not, you know, completely zero waste. I'm not perfect in my practices at all, but I am on a journey to becoming zero waste. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please let me know what you guys think. Are there any products that you're using that I haven't mentioned? Don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments and also recommend products and contribute to this community. I really want to connect with you guys and know more about your practices, your habits, the products that you love. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can press a thumbs up. And if you're bored in quarantine, you can check out my other videos videos and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one stay safe said one <laughs> I, so hey guys today we're gonna talk about my uh, eco-friendly <laughs> makeup accessories c'est ça <laughs> my eco-friendly products that I use for my daily hygiene en plus en anglais j'ai pas l'habitude hey guys <laughs>